2 million fewer barrels per day. That's a result of the decision made by some of the world's largest producers of oil. The reduction of oil production is also the largest cut since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, and its timing comes just ahead of U.S. midterms. So what impact will this move have on the global energy sector and how is Washington reacting? OPEC and non-OPEC allies, a group often referred to as OPEC Plus, say the move comes out of economic concerns. Actually, crude oil prices to drop to around 80 US dollars a barrel back in June, a steep decline from a previous price point of $120. Following this announcement, international benchmark Brent crude features traded at over 93 US dollars barrel in London, while US oil was up 1.7% and nearly $88. It's safe to say the surprise announcement has left US President Joe Biden quite irritated. He's long called on the Energy Alliance, which includes Saudi Arabia and Russia, to lower fuel prices ahead of the midterms next month. Biden wants to secure cheaper oil for his current and possible future voters, but the Saudis is reluctant to pay America's gas bill. Saudi Arabia does not politicize oil or oil decisions. Oil is not a weapon. It's not a fighter plane. It's not a tank. You can't shoot it. You can't do anything. The idea that Saudi Arabia would do, would do this to harm the U.S. or to be in any way politically involved is absolutely uh, not correct at all. With due respect, the reason you have high prices in the United States is because you have a refining shortage that has been in existence for more than 20 years. You haven't built refineries in decades. In the statement, the White House said Biden was disappointed by what he thought a short-sighted decision by OPEC+. Plus. It adds that Biden is directing the U.S. Energy Department to release another 10 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve next month. Urbindal and Pana right now, they're calling for a stopping of U.S. arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Do you support that legislation? We're going to react to Saudi Arabia. We're going to do a consultation when they come back, and uh, we will take action. But perhaps what irks Washington more is that they believe the protection cards will render Western sanctions against Russia futile. One report by Nikkei says that it would bring uncertainties to the price limits on Russian oil exports previously imposed by the G7. In a statement, U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said that he believes Riyadh's move would increase Russian export revenues. However, the Saudi Foreign Ministry issued a statement insisting the country is not taking sides in international conflicts. Uh, in my opinion, this administration and President Biden, they are all charged against Saudi Arabia no matter what we do. I think uh, they need to understand the communication plan has been given by uh, the Minister of uh, Energy. Uh, it's clear uh, what, uh, what, what, what the reason and the outcome of this petition. Again, it is not Saudi Arabia. Uh, this is America and this is the funny time of everybody trying to hang their issues and the problems in order to win the midterm election. Over the past few months and while facing domestic inflation, the Federal Reserve has taken rather aggressive measures to raise interest rates, resulting in a significant strengthening of the US dollar. But this has led to a plummet in oil prices. In this regard, OPEC's move can also be seen as a challenge to the dominance of the US dollar on the price of global commodities. Meanwhile, some countries have already tried to decentralize the US dollar in the oil market. For example, Saudi Arabia is in discussion with China to conduct oil sales using the Chinese yuan. And the Bank of Japan also plans to set up a cross-border trading network to bypass the US dollar in the field of commodity deals with the countries like Iran. With the approaching winter in the Northern Hemisphere, the debates caused by rising oil prices will stay hot. With all these factors at play, many believe it seems that the United States is gradually losing its final say on the global crude oil market, as many nations and international organizations have started to say no to the America First principle.